Perfect. My name is Rafi Media Villa from criticologos.com. First, Ali, Alia, Mariel, and John. Thank you for taking your time to talk about the series. So, congratulations. Eso, Rafael. Muy bien. <laughs> I didn't want to speak in Spanish, but gracias, 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 gracias. Um, <laughs> Um, I, I want to start with uh, Alia first because I, I related to you in, in to your character in the sense that I'm always having all my antennas rolling, but I also, you know, sometimes I give give I I, I give too much credit to a person and they let me down, and I, I really do relate it to the character so much in that in that sense, and I wonder if you could talk to her and, and tell her, hey, yeah, leave your let your guard down, but try to eat, balance everything out. What would you tell your character as advice to dealing with the whole situation? You know what? Uh, and I didn't think about this until until you just brought this to my attention. Because um, previously I would have said I, I would tell Janina to guard her heart better and, and just, um, you know, don't try as hard and just let things let things come to you as, as they come to you. But um, I think people who have the heart that's big enough to love that hard I don't think you should tell them not to. I think you should let them exist where they exist. They know, you know, even if they're not exercising as much caution, they know exactly what they're getting themselves into. Ginny knows exactly what she's getting into with Elena. And if she's choosing to to open her heart and, and go on this ride, even if, even if she gets hurt or if she feels like it's unrequited, I think she's still making a choice. And I, I would never tell her don't love is hard don't be as open. I, I would tell her, you know, exercise caution the best that you can. But if this is you and you're a lover and you just want to dive in head first, that's your right. And and the fact that you have a heart big enough to do that is beautiful. Good question. Good answer. John, I um, Scott is dealing with so many things, juggling so many things at the same time. Um, obviously, we see it, at least through the uh, last couple of episodes, we see more information coming in. Oh, why is Scott doing what he's doing, and, and I, but I also he has his his agenda. He has his love for Elena, and he's juggling with so many things. Uh, does he completely under, understand how to handle everything that that is going on? Because it, it seems that he he struggles with everything. What, what what his mindset to the whole situation? You know, I think even though he's obviously suspicious of a lot of things, um, I, I think at the end of the day, he has to be a bit of an optimist and he's just hoping that things are going to work out and that this, this plan that they've hatched together is, is, is going to work. So he's focused on it, trying to get her to do what she needs to do. And he does what he needs to do, but I think he's, he's just hoping it's going to work out because it's, you know, a long shot, um, but he's still going for it. Mariel, uh, you, you had a lot of fun doing this character and I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, to, but I, I, I felt that you were way too damn comfortable with the character, you, you 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 felt. I mean, to me, it, it seems that this was you just being you. So I I want to ask, mm -hmm. how, how much of of the character is you, or are you just following the directions from the from the script? Because you were terrific on through the whole season with your character. Oh, thank you. Well, I I I will take that compliment so well because I actually think that Elena and I are very different. And I was really trying to create a character that was very different to myself. Um, this is a character that is, you know, very real realistic about life and at times a cynic and, you know, doesn't open up very easily and doesn't trust people and is deceitful. And I am so optimistic to a fault and I trust people a lot and I'm way more loud and bubbly. And I think for Elena, she needed to kind of like, you know, sometimes pass unseen and, 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 and live this double life. So it was actually really challenging at first. It's also a role that I was alone a lot. I had to do a lot of scenes alone, which was something I had never done before. Um, you know, previously, I feel like I've been a part of big, big ensemble scenes. And, and so that was a challenge in itself because, you know, I really wanted you to be engaged in the story and see it from Elena's point of view. Um, but I was fearful that maybe, you know, Elena wouldn't be likable or that you wouldn't root for her and all these things. But I think that my guiding light was like, I just need to do 
what's right by Elena. And I knew exactly what my mission was. And, you know, I would just try to remain in that course. And then whatever obstacles came in, I would deal with them as I went, you know. Maria, another question for you. And I spoke to Amy and I, I'm going to ask you the same question. The, the two of you have seemed to be best friends. Uh, uh, the, the way, I mean, that, that is, at least what, that's what we were, we, we, were we, were, we were seeing from what we saw on social media. Uh, talk, talk to us about working with Amy and, and are you best friends now, from now on? Oh, I love her. I love her so much. She is such a kind, gracious, generous, I think and everyone in this room can attest to that. We are all in Amy Acker's fan club, although she has so many fans. So it's a, a constant competition for the most fanatic one. But no, she's she's incredible to work with. She's so professional, so creative, so supportive. Uh, you know, there would be days where I am exhausted after working a 14-hour day, you know, day and she'd be like you know what I just wanted to make you a home-cooked meal like that's the type of person that she is and by the way she is an incredible chef so I mean we all got to you know have some wonderful meals by the Amy Acker but it was it was such a joy and also just that's just like as a person and on a professional level she's just the best of the best man I mean it was it was incredible to work with her I, I got one final question for everyone, and this is about the mystery. I mean, this is a mystery, sort of mystery murder type of story, and they work so well. It doesn't matter if it's on TV or is it, is it a movie. And I wonder for each of you individually, what is it about this one that you felt uh, was the thing that told you, hey, I got to do this? So I'll I, 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 I to first. you first. Ooh, <clears throat> I think just, uh, I mean, just, I only have the pilot to start with, you know, there, you know, as, as TV goes on, you get more episodes. Um, but I, I only have the pilot to start with, and I just wanted to know more. I wanted to know uh, who these characters were. I wanted to know what is the big secret about the Greyborn, because it's a character in itself, uh, this, you know, landmark building. And, and I just wanted to I don't know, I wanted to be along for the ride as well as be a part of the story. Uh, I feel very much like I like I was watching things unfold as much as I, you know, have played my part and, and that was so much fun. John, you want, you want to add something? Um, I think, like she said, we I only had the pilot to start with, so I didn't really know where it was going to go. I think for me, it, it was, you know, it's a mix of a bunch of different genres, so it just made it a project that I knew was going to be different from the other things that I've been a part of. Um, and that's that's always fun to you know dive into something different. Maria, close I, it up. I think for me it was the turn when I when I saw in Elena that in the pilot she wasn't who she said she was. To me, I was ready to just sink it in and and figure out who this person was for sure. I know I I know people are gonna love it and they're gonna dive in just like it did and and we, really, I got I got the I was lucky to watch them all but it, I mean this is just amazing can't wait to for another seasons for for more stories and but I'm gonna thank the two other four of you for the review congratulations thank you for your time thank, thank you. you gracias Rafael gracias Mariel thank you so much.